Okay, guys, get ready. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh my god! New feature for the sniper rifle. As you can see, I've got it got it attached. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to give myself a target. So let's use this knot block. I'm going to put it over on this wing. On this wing here. We'll put a couple of them. Oh, okay. We won't. There we go. Now if I fly over to the other side of the ship. And so the width of this ship, I'll give you in a minute. So from there, there's the target. Zoom in. As you can see, easy to hit. So it takes up the size. I've zoomed just so my target is no bigger than the reticule. If you zoom in, as you can see, you've got, what, five times magnification? Maybe? I don't know. It's definitely enough. So that there is one of the new features. Sniper Rifle now has a scope build helper. The first function in the build helper is the ellipsoid. If you select it, click OK, it'll ask you to choose your radiuses. Uh, the max is 256, OK? And I'm just going to show you a little one so you get the idea. If we go with, say, the width of this ship is 47, so if I say 40, we'll get there, 42, 40, there you go, and then we'll make the uh, Y axis, we'll make that 7, and the Z, 2, that should give me a nice sort of <laughs> donut. Yeah, it's lined up. Boom. Right then, now you can see it's given me a sort of visible area in which I can build. Do it. Yeah, it's already hollow. Uh, am I done? No! No, I missed a bit. There we go. And like I say, it was very simple. All I had to do was control, build helper, ellipsoid, okay and then I picked whatever one I wanted I mean if I could have picked like you know a hundred long by three by four okay and we'll just shove that there <laughs> really rough okay oh and I could just build the back if I want and take the symmetry do you know what I mean you don't have to build the front as well you can just build the back or you can just build the top of the of that and then replace it so somebody well I think the fact that there's a, a, a list means that more is going to be added so let's just go for the full 256 and see what we got oh, oh my god here okay I'm trying to get out of the ah. um, can, we, can we make it so that while this is active if we what? hit fill uh, if we hit fill or replace it the so yeah, that's basically going to help you, um, it's not a build time shortcut, so what this does is it allows you to um, still build it manually, but at least you can place them with some accuracy. Welcome back everybody, today we're looking at StarMade Dev Build 017196, it is the 3rd of October 2014. And I've got a couple of things to show you. There were a number of new blocks uh, that have been brought in, namely the Plex Door, Plex Door Wedge, Glass Door, Glass Door Wedge, and uh, Blast Door, and Blast Door Wedge. All of them are working with logic, and um, they're 100% fine. It's brilliant. Push R, done. Um, I've thrown something together just to demo some of this, and also a few of the new shapes which are in the uh, build trainer. So, uh, like I say, if I come inside, built this little thing. You can see these rings here, they're built using the circle tool, using a rotation of 45 degrees and 135 degrees. Obviously, I made the flat one is X 90 degrees. Um, I just set the radius and pinned them all off of the core. So I've built the circles there at uh, 0, 90, 45, and 135 degrees. Um, if I was to then uh, come into here, I've got a few things to show you. If I just come in 
as you can see we've got a number of doors all set up so you can just open them like normal or we can use the logic which I've hooked up we can get out here and have a look at the craziness that we've built and like I say fully activatable so blast doors I'm expecting they're gonna have some kind of armor bonus over the normal doors but the data isn't actually in the build so I'm not gonna quote them it could be subject to balance so there it is the blast doors on a diag on the diagonal so that's wedged there. normal blast doors okay lovely new texture as well I love the new texture We've got glass wedges you can see we can come out here close it up looking very nice and then over here we've got the actual glass door itself so there's the glass door absolutely beautiful and the plex door wedges which a lot of people were asking for for a very long time and we've finally got them and we've got basically hardened wedges and transparent wedges as well wedge doors this is going to be really amazing for all of your detailing internal and external so those are the uh, major new blocks which have been added into this uh, build so i'm going to dive back into the core and then i can show you the last part so if we're in uh, build mode right now i've actually prepared a torus so if i just hit tab g i've been hiding it from you guys this here is a torus with an inner ring of 10 and a diameter uh, so a radius of 40. So I've just made it with a zero, 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 which gives it, no, sorry, I went 90 degrees on the X. I'll just go through showing you how to do it, okay? So if I clear the helper, hold control, it's in your build mode. In the bottom right corner, build helper. Okay, I've got ellipsoid, circle, and torus. Torus was the last one I did. So if I just take a look at that, torus. If I pick a torus radius of, say, I'm gonna make it 40, so it's outside of what I've already got in the middle, okay? Um, if I use 10 to come back in, that means it should have a big gap in the middle. So, if I make the torus tube radius, I could probably go up to 15 or maybe even probably 18 and there'd still be a gap. So that'll give me a tube of 18 radius inside. In fact, no, that's not going to work. 40, so it's 20 on the inside. 10 10 and 40 total yeah that's correct so i've got 40 is my total radius 10 on each side for the width of the tubes and that leaves 20 in the middle so um if i pick 0 0 0 for the x rotation y rotation and z rotation it'll put it straight up okay if you want to make it flat down like it was initially you have to put the first x in as 90 then it'll rotate the X 90 degrees so all you have to do to make sure you're setting this up right is don't have a gun in your hotbar you have something you can build with and click on a point you know you could make a you can use a light and just mark the points where you want to pick but it doesn't really matter what your system is so now we have a giant thing to start building and all you have to do is just start building off of it. If you use symmetry, it'll build just like you're building a ship. You just know where you're putting your blocks now. So that's beautiful. I'm just going to go through the uh, other shapes real quick. So we've got the circle, which I've already been using today. So, yeah, so if we, we take, say, a 10 radius, and we'll take the Y rotation this time. We'll put that to 90, so I can show you what it does. Okay. 90 radius 10 in fact we'll do it 20 so that it's the same as the rest you're going to see it better there we go if i go and pick this point here and then what i'll do is i'll get the white lights okay and off we go and like i say i've only actually been on the stream for about half hour at the most so it didn't take long to build the rings like I say they're pretty much all right I mean they might have made a few mistakes because of the trainer it's very difficult to get it wrong as I was going through I was just thinking because of the so it's like a ball of string <laughs> do you know what I think I might actually close it off anyway
Oh, maybe I should make Schema a ball of string. That'd be cool. Where is it? To fly around in space. Space string. String theory. Okay, so yeah, I mean, I've just done a whole bunch of rings here. The, the inner diameter ones were deliberately smaller, so I made the uh, larger one, you know, you, I wanted to step it up so you could have a different one each time. Um, and that's it, really. So let's see how it flies. And roll it. Yeah. So there it is, guys. What we have there is um, shape. I've already covered some of the other shapes. So that's pretty much all of the new stuff that I wanted to show to you today. So, um, yep, yeah, can't wait to show you what else is coming because there's so many new additions. All these new doors are awesome and the shape trainers are going to be loved by many. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.